Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're doing well. So I'm on for part two of my Thrifty Thursday Marketplace haberdashery haul. Um, we did all the fabric and now I've got the laces, ribbons and bits and pieces that I got from that haul. So, of course, Thrifty Thursday is an open collaboration hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. So I'll link her down below. So one of the things I've got was this. It says oh so and it does that which is really cool. I threatened to chop my son's hair with it. Now the lady said it's great for cutting lace. So that should be handy. Yeah, I have to look up about it and see what else it's good for cutting. But yeah, seems really nifty. <laughs> so I'll be playing with that all day. A um, couple of bits of random lace that fell out of one of the bags. It's so lovely. I love little scraps like that. I'll go my lace scrap bin. There's this bag, which looks like possibly wedding dress or little scraps like that. It has some cardboard, which I think was back in this, which has sticky on it. So I don't know if I'll get it out. It's weird. I thought we must get it out, but it's breaking a plastic bag. Just double-sided tape by the looks of it. But it's strong. <laughs> so they look like applique pieces. Just embellishments, little flowers. Might have to take them off and put them somewhere a bit more appropriate. So I think that was for that. And in here we have this, it's got a pin and I might just take that out before I stick myself with it. Bit of beautiful lace. It's a little star charm. Got some little seed beads, little pearl seed beads. Pearl coloured anyway. little pearl coloured hearts and it looks like they were putting some of the seed beads and hearts onto a piece of the lace there and there's one of the flowers so it's a lovely little package there were these buttons which are really cute they're elephants There are different colours. Yeah, there we go. So aren't they sweet? Little wooden buttons. A whole stack of those. There was some DMC Fil de Lin. Linen thread. Feels really nice too. So real nice natural tones by the looks. And this stuff wouldn't be cheap either, so lovely and there was a bolt of this unglaze put them up there and then we'll get into the first bag there's a couple of bags now with bits and pieces we'll start with this random bag This is just a little sewing kit by the looks. Some scissors, some needles, and we've got in there some sequins and some thread and seed beads. Put the sequins back in there. It keeps sticking to me. Get off. Just sort that out into my piles of this sort of thing. Keep it all together. A bit of ribbon here. That's a cute ribbon, isn't it? So that can go to the side and we'll make a... Might keep this bag as a ribbon bag. So isn't this gorgeous? So it's just some chain with these charms on it. So I 
might just put the ribbon in here. Now we've got this bag of goodies to go through first. So I've got some laces here. They look like your generic coloured laces that I probably have a stack of. So we've got some pink. Just gonna take the pin out because I know what I'm like. So yeah, some lovely pink. Some green, but it's got your multicolored on the top. Some of that with the salmon. I'm going to put that to the side because I've got a box where I keep bits that you can run down a side of a page. So they can go in there, I think. It's like that. That's a bit longer, so that will go in my longer bin. Good to sort out as I go. And then smaller bits I put in my lace scrap bin. That would go in my lace scrap bin and that would go, that could go down a small page. So that would go in my page length one scrap bin. And that's long enough to wind up. What would sort out as we go. That's a lovely color that is. gathered and has a little rose on it. No, I might as well take that rose off. <laughs> Cut that off. There we go. I can stick the rose back together if I want to. Put that in there for now. I've got my scrap bin. Tied up this piece. It's long enough. Scrap in. It's a button. It's almost page length, isn't it? Yep. I might just grab my scrap bin down. Straight in there. So in here I have tiny little scraps on top and then the bigger scraps in the bottom so they can go in there. And I will put this to the side of me. Put the long scraps up there to put away afterwards. Okay, next we have another bag. lovely. Oh, there's a pipe cleaner. I think they've seen better days, those pipe cleaners. They can go and be ruthless. Alright, take these pins out for now, because I will... Well, that is wound on some card, but I'll wind them back on some card. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff here. This is sweet, and that's already on some card. So what I might do is chop that off. Grab a rubber band. And that's just some beautiful it's like corduroy ribbon. So that can go in at my ribbon bag here. So we've got long lace, it's got this red one. It's longer than a page. Just not much though. I might put that in my page one. That's beautiful. That's lace. So we'll put that. So is this. So this is more like your um what's it called? crocheted lace and I'll keep that in my lace drawers separate from that sort of lace same with this blue one so I'll put that 
to put this is some ribbon tied up with some lace just to make it difficult for me. Undo that. Make my scrap bin and that my ribbon bag. It's a beautiful piece. Scrap bin. A lot of that red isn't there which is great because that's lovely just put that in there for now look at this piece so i've got a tub that has lace pieces in it so that will go into there and that will go in with the crochet pieces and there's like a ribbon These are beautiful. They're like page lengths. And that goes in there. Making a big mess. Isn't that nice? Seems quite vintage that. Crocheted pile. Same with that one. Now this is material, sort of like a belt. That will probably go in my bin that I've got behind me for closures for journals. Sort of like bias binding piece, hemming piece that is. That probably go material scraps. Now I've got a fair bit of that. And they're not really long enough for closures. So that's like your fish tail. <laughs> I always get mixed up between fish tail and fish bone. I've got a tub where we put that stuff too. Okay. So that's fabric scrap. long enough for a closure that piece Lots more of that it's a closure piece nice and retro Some of that mermaid stuff that I had the fabric for, that's some of that fishtail stuff too. That goes there. They'd be big enough closures for your little mini journals, they would, but I'll just keep them in a separate bag from other scraps and that. That's ribbon. Okay, so I might just grab the thing I've got for my closures and get them put away. If I've got any room in here, it's getting a bit full, I think. I might have to get a tub for them. I don't know, there's room. So I just put random ropes and bits that don't really have anywhere to go that I want to use for closures and that in here. Okay, what is this lace doing here? That can go in there. And I think we have more lace to go through, so I'll get my lace scrap bin off the table so there's room. Then I can move some of this over.
to use that for my ribbons. And then I might put these closure pieces in this bag just to keep them all together for now. And that can go down there. There, now I've got some room. <laughs> so I've got this big curtain lace in here. And let's have a look. I've got a few different things. It's a big piece of this which has been hacked up. That's going to be lovely for layering though. And it's sort of got daisies on it. So that's beautiful. Oh look, I've got my blending tool sticking to all my lace pieces. So organised. So I do have drawers that I put all my curtain laces into, so that will be going in there. So I'll put the big bits of laces together. That's like a scrap, isn't it? Put that in my big scraps. This will go in my lace drawer. Put it in here for now. I've got some ribbons here. So that's a nice orange ribbon. And it's not much of that, but it's a white with gold edges. That's beautiful. That'll be beautiful for Christmas tags and that. So I'll probably end up taking it off the roll and put on some cardboard after. A little bit of that scrap ribbon. Look at that, that's beautiful. Looks like a wide ribbon, but it's not. Unless the wire's been taken out. No. That is gorgeous, so. A thick one. Some organza ribbon. Some pom pom trim which is great because I won't buy the stuff but I love seeing people's journals with it on so I'm sure I'm going to have to start putting on some journals so that's a nice trim put that to the side more organza ribbon this is lovely it's a peachy apricot coloured lace trim can go with my crocheted laces. Look at that pom pom. That is huge. At least they're not heavy so they don't weigh your journals down, but that is huge. Put that with the other pom pom trim. Actually, I will bag those. And there's this. It's like fleece material. Oh, yeah, we had some of that. Yeah, so that's material scrap. So a couple of satin ribbons. That one's interesting. And I've got a few here. So green and white, more ganza. So I've got a big bag here. I'm going to shove the ribbons back in there now because we're getting too many. These two. That one. A bit of rick rack. I'll keep that separate because I put my rick rack separate. I've got some elastic which is, will go separate and some more ribbon there. Right. So this is good. We're getting sort getting them sorted into their piles of like things, which is a good start. So next we have okay, and then we've got this bag that's full of bits and pieces as well. So I'm going to start dragging things out from this. It's a nice big organza bag. So I'll just grab a handful out and we'll go through that. So we have in there some of these flowers and leaves by the looks. So they are beautiful. So they can stay in the bag. And I'll add this flower that I broke. Can't find the leaves though, I'll find them afterwards. And they can go in the rest of my in with the rest of my fabric flowers and leaves. 
Got a bit more lace here. That is beautiful. That looks vintage. Looks like a cuff. Now, do I put it in scraps? I might put it in my scraps. Now I've got these baby boy ephemera that can go in my ephemera basket that's behind me. This is a lot. Looks like it's got some rust in that on it. It's been cut off of something. It's got some staining on it by the looks and a pin. Take the pin out. So I think I'll put that in with my lace material. Mm, this looks pretty. So it's more lace material scrap there. Some bits and pieces. That's a really nice piece, that is. That can go in my, with my lace, I think. And that's a scrap. That's a lace piece. Look at that, beautiful. scrap I'll put that in my scrap bin. Oh, bags everywhere now. So some red lace. Some more material. These will be great for little pockets and flips and that. Already cut for me. Another handful. Looks like there might be some applique or pretty little lace pieces in here. So I've got some ribbon. Try and find my ribbon bag. There it is. Look at that piece. Put that in my scrap bin. That is gorgeous. Put that in with the crocheted laces. Love the colour on that. Oh, I'll put that in the scrap bin. That can go in the scrap bin. I'll just put it in the top bit. And then there's the rest of it that I can cut from. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's a duck apple. Okay. Christmas duck, you think? Or just a duck, a cold duck, so he has to have a hat. That's really cool and vintage. So I can go in my appliques wherever they are. So that's a nice piece. And we've got a bag of different laces here. This looks like it's come from the op shop. Okay, so we've got, we need a big bag or another bag to put them back in now. We've got blue, got some more blue here, that's a bit different. Got this white with the silk ribbon in it. That is gorgeous. Wish I had a whole heap more of that. It's a nice sheer vintage one. It's a 
nice with the blue cotton in it. Okay, that's a page edge. That's a page edge as well. As is that one. It's a longer piece. That is gorgeous. long enough to go in the bag just it's a pretty gathered one it's white down the bottom oh it's two laces the blue and the white gathered apricot that's interesting that one Nice gather that. So I'm going to have a lot of winding up to do to put these all on some cardboard and put them away in the drawers. That's a page edge, Christmassy one. Got this, I'm not even going to bother unwinding that. That can stay as it is. It's quite big. We will find a use for it sometime. There's a lot of that one. Stretchy. Some apricot. Now this is interesting. It's got some, I don't know if it's nylon. It's been cut off of something. That's what's gone on there. A petticoat or something. Beautiful vintage lace. And then there's these, the apricot and the plum colour. So they're beautiful. That was a nice bag. Now. So we've got some crepe paper. That away with my other crepe papers. I have some tassels. It's always nice not to have to make your own tassels. Got two there. And I've got this one. So I do have a bin just for tassels that they'll go in. Now I'll put them in this smaller bag. There's a bell in here because I can hear it. It looks like a lint bunny bell. Oh, wow. Okay, they're just plastic ones, but they're nice and light. So that'd be all right for a journal dangle because they're very, very light. So there's lots of those. And then some, another bell. And then some huge buttons. Look at the size of that one. That'd be right on the front of a journal as a closure. Or just decoration. There's a big mess of ribbons in here. I'm trying to get all the other bits and pieces out before I do the tip. Oh, 
that we have some felt. There's a bit of ribbon scrap there. So they're the bits of felt that I have, so they'll go into my felt tub. We have this bag, which is, looks like rope and shoelaces and that sort of thing. It's funny how we all keep the same sort of stuff because this is the type of stuff I keep to all these ropes and shoelaces and some elastic. So that's cool, huge bit of rick rack. So that can go back in that bag. Now, I'll do the tip on this. Well, that was dangerous. So that's paper ribbon. I'm gonna, that's a beautiful ribbon. Put it straight in my ribbon bag. Organza, that's some more lace or rope. Put that in the bag here. Yeah. And the organza's tied up to some pink ribbon and this love heart ribbon. So white, orange, plastic. More organza, some green, some more crepe paper. And some balloons, I think they can go. Orange, some pink, so lots of satin. There's a bit more felt. Some yellow rick crack. There's a whole lot of that, that's beautiful. Put that over with the rick crack. Fabric scrap. Let's put these away. So we'll get this felt out of the way. I forgot, that must be some of that linen. I don't know if that's the linen stuff or it's just your normal DNC cotton. Woolen special. I'll have to have a look. So put that to the side. Felt. There's a whole stack of that pink satin ribbon. Make a whole lot of bows out of that. And that fishtail stuff. Pink. Some more balloons. Keep that, that'll be cool to reuse in a journal somewhere. Pick that up. Just remove that. And then it looks like another, that bouquet with an apple on it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that was the big bulk of what was in the bag, but there was this jar. So let's have a look at what's in there. Looks like buttons. This is about setting some of your buttons. Oh, look at this, that's an earring. Won't that look nice in the middle of a handmade flower? Little treasures like that that I love when you go through bags like this. So that looks like it's some of the buttons that you set. I'll have to sort these out and put them in with all the ones. I've got a whole lot of that sort of thing here somewhere. there's anything much else special I think it's all buttons to set there now I do remember there was another thing of buttons so I'm just going to find that so there was this jar of buttons 
the last thing I got through at all. <laughs> oh, goodness me, there's all sorts in here. So I love these, these green ones. They're interesting. There's lots of those ones. This is nice. That looks real. What's that stuff called? It's that shell stuff. That's beautiful. It's got some weight to it too. The blue one, that's interesting as well. Another elephant. I'll leave him out, put him with the other elephants. Oh, I love that. Little cat. He'll have to be separate as well. These, I'll have to sort them all out anyway into my little button tins. It's a material one there, the gold one. There's a few of those. Let's just press stud, leave that separate. Ship on that one. I like the metal ones, they're really cool. Flower one. Go separate. This looks like a leather knot. Another carved bit of wood. It's a bead. It's nice. I like the metal ones. Got a nice collection of them. It's beautiful too. Love heart. Leave all those cutesy ones out. They're easy for me to put away. Oh, rubber, something or other. That can go in the bin. All right, I think that's it for the interest in those buttons. Oh, so that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot more than I thought it was. And I tell you what, that was so worth what she charged me. And yeah, I'm very, very grateful for that lot of fabric and goodies. So now I've made a complete and utter mess of my desk. I've got the fabric all behind me on the other desk. So I'm going to go through all of that and sort it out properly. Cut all the rough bits off and pack it all away and go through all of this. It was good to sort it out while I was talking to you. Um... So now it's in its piles. It's just putting it away where it needs to go. So I'll get to that. So take care of yourselves and I shall see you again soon. Bye.